Hey, what's up, guys? Savage to you with another video. In this video, I'm gonna show you my new two rank fives. I've had them for like a little bit right now, but we'll go to five star max out. You may notice, um, Fang and Hyperion. So these two characters, um, I use two generic awakening gems because honestly, look, people said don't use them generic, but if you look at my account. Like, I got Blade, Medusa, Aegon, Captain America, Sunspots, uh, Simbi Supreme, Hyperion, uh, or I mean, Venom thing, Hyperion, Archangel, 6 star rank 2, Corvus, 6 star rank 2, Ghost. Like, people like to say the 5 star Awakening gem, but honestly, like, we're moving to 6 stars very soon, and honestly, the, the characters I already have cover everything I could ever want. I mean, Ghost alone is like 95% of the contest, and the few fights you can't do, um, Archangel, Captain America, like, Medusa, Blade, they could all handle fine, so it's like, I'm not too worried about wasting generics at this point in the game. Like, at this stage in the game, we're so far, or I have a 6-2 six six Awakened Ghost, she's gonna be going to rank 3 once I get a tech thing, Corvus is gonna be rank 3, like, I'm not too concerned about um, holding them, but there's reasons why I rank 5 and awaken these characters. So, for let's start off with Thing. Um, his Sig, 3, very tragic. I have no Sig stones, I know. Um, that's why his PI is so low. If I had him Sig to higher, he'd be like, I think at the top, or very close to the top. The reason I'm on rank 5 and awaken is for 1, Path, and 6.3. And if you look at my 6.3, if I want to load, I have 1 Path left. Cause I've been do I've done like twenty paths in the last like week or whatever. After a best, I was con I was I wanted to do some, but if we look the path that I needed him for this path, worst path I've ever seen in my entire life. It can't stop, won't stop. This node sucks dick. It's the duration of the um attackers and stoppables are increased by hundred. So when you get an unstoppable, it like um doubles the duration. But if you don't have an unstoppable on you, you they take 75% less damage. So each fight is like an abyss fight if you don't wanna if you don't want an unstoppable. And the thing, I mean he worked. I didn't have the full thing synergy, so I just had to use him normally, but it would have been so much better at SIG two hundred, but like at SIG one, it, it worked. But he did the path, but it was not a fun path. Because every fight just had their own form of bullshit. This guy you could never crit. This guy you take a whole bunch of damage. This guy you take a whole bunch of block damage. This fight was fine. This fight was fine. This is Domino and Domino's Domino. Human Torch was fine. And then Omega Red had I didn't realize this until I got to him, he had aspects of war, but I actually had a really good run in him. I like intercepted only and all that. So I, I, it worked, the thing worked. Yeah, I needed him for this path. Like, even I was thinking, like, eh, rank four could be fine, dude. I'm so glad I took him to rank five because even at rank five, that was a struggle. And Hyperion, I brought up for a few reasons. Well, one, he's a beast, but there's a path in the Mysterio um, chapter, and it's this one right here. And Caustic Temper, so you have a 50% chance to inflict poison when struck, so you need a poison immune. And then also, they take 90% less damage unless they have a Fury. So, you need someone who's poisoning me and has, can get Furs. And then every time you would crit, um, even if it's through a block or anything, their power rate just goes up like crazy. And then every time you crit a Grand, you get Spiked Armor, so you take damage back. So this path seems impossible until you mix it with um, this boost right here. Oh, wait, no, sorry. This boost. So if you're using a cosmic, whenever you would be poisoned, you'd gain a fury buff. And when you have this fury buff active, you cannot crit, so they won't be getting the crazy power gain or spiked armor. And I period destroyed this entire lane, dude. Like absolutely destroyed it. The um only fight you couldn't really do is the um, warlock because the power gain, but he used a Medusa for that. So he was very useful for this path, he killed it. And then there's another use uh, and then there's another reason I ranked him up, um if it wants to load was the 6.2 Mr. Sinister boss. If you know anything about that boss, it's not a fun time. And let's see, if we go to 6.2, what does he have? I think he also has Caustic Temper. So let's see, he has Caustic Temper, so you need the Poison Immune who has Fury Buffs, and then he also puts EMP modification on you, so you're gonna just die from that eventually. But I one of one like, of the best um, options for this fight, just for getting like a fat chunk of damage and then dying. So yeah, Iberian's gonna be very helpful for when I have to understand this quest. So yeah, those are the two characters I ranked up and why. But, another thing I wanted to talk about was 
I have a problem right now. A very weird problem to have. Um, so if you go to my um, stash and go to my catalyst, I want you to take a look at this. I have five <laughs> two to alpha at overflow. And we're going to be getting a sixth one in five days. So I have 18 tier two alphas. And that's after rank five in Thing and Hyperion back to back. And I just ranked five Dark Angel a few weeks ago. How did I just rank three five characters and still have 18 tier two alpha? So the plan right now is rank five Quake. That's going to take six. So we'll be back down to 12 out of 12. And then rank three and rank, uh, I mean, rank four and five Celsius so Spider Man. So that'll be another 10. So then I'll be back at two. And yeah, we have 18. Like, it's crazy. Like, I just ranked 5 to have here in a thing, and I still have 18 to tier 2 alpha in total. That is ridiculous, okay? I need to rank up. The only thing I'm waiting for right now is... By the time you see this video... Actually, no, no, never mind. I, I, basically, I just need one tier 1 alpha, basically, to rank 3 Dr. Octopus. And Dr. Octopus is the last character I need to 100%. That's why I have this team. I have Electro on the team for like some synergy, I don't even know. Ghost full synergy for the final boss. And then Dr. Octopus is me doing this entire lane. Is this a boost front or is it this one? Um, while the defender is inflicted with heal block, um, your well times blocks or your parries inflict shock. And basically this node is, let's see. It has vigor, vigorous assault and thunderstruck. Basically, um, they don't take any damage unless they have a shock on them. So you need a tech character who can place heal blocks. So Dr. Octopus is the only character I have right now. So yeah, I do this the last path, and this is the very last path in 6.3. And when looking at the path, there's like no hard fights. So I'm, I'm happy. So probably later today, once I get the tier 1 alpha from the event or tomorrow, I'll be done with 6.3 and you'll see a crystal opening. So you might see this video today and watch out for tomorrow, the 6.3 crystal opening. Um, I'll have enough for two five star um, crystals and one six star. As long as I get one dupe here, I'll have enough for the six star. So I'm excited. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video and why did my rank up and all that. We get a like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.